So it's a rainy day here. Wednesday. Wednesday here in Spain. Uh, sorry, in the UK. Um, one of the advantages I have with being here rather than, well, sorry, living in Spain rather than the Philippines is that commutable flights are possible. Um, so today I've been looking at the workload I have for the university and quite simply I can't get the kickstart I need on the survey um, for actually surveying but there's a lot of spreadsheet stuff to do and writing regulations, SOPs um, and terms of reference uh, SOPs, by the way, standard operating procedures. So there's a lot of documentation to be writing. And quite simply, I turned around and said to the guys before the end of today, it's like, look, the stuff I need to get surveying isn't ready yet. Um, it's all right, I'd go back to Spain. Uh, basically, yeah, as long as you can be available, etc., and it isn't going to impact the business, then fine. So about five o'clock, book the flight. And I leave here in Spain, uh, leave the UK at 6.20 in the morning and off back home to Spain uh, for a week. Um, I've got to be back in a week's time as well because it's my mother's funeral as well. So it's a case of um, also having to be back rather than wanting to be back. Um, but I suppose that's, that's, that's one of those things, you know, there is not a lot you can do with things like the funeral and things like that, because once everything's in order, it's, it's just in process. You're just having to go through the steps. Um, but one of the things I wanted to bring up is how people should look out for each other a bit more than most people do these days. Um, I know a lot of people are self-centered and what have you, but I think a lot of people lose vision on what friendship really means and family responsibilities, whatever. Um, I think it's important to recognize that people need a support mechanism. They do need to have friends and stuff around them, or at least to turn around and say, look, if you're having any issues, you know where I am, that sort of thing. And I know I've done it for a few people in, in the past and, thank anybody that's um, made contact relating to uh, my mother recently. But the, the point being is it's important to have those sort of connections um, because life will throw you some curveballs every now and again. And I think it's important people can get through those times and into happier ones again. Um, so on that point, just want to say everyone be happy, be content, and throw people a lifeline now and again. You know, it doesn't hurt. And I often find that offering friendship or helping others often comes back tenfold anyway. Um, I do it because I do it for the right reasons, <laughs> but um, you do find that people do appreciate it. Um, you make some long-term friends because you're not orientated about stuff for yourself. It's... It's much deeper than that, and that's what matters. Um, people remember it. And also, it's just being a good human being, or a citizen, or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, yeah, so that's the main thing, is just getting through life and doing the best you can for yourself and others. Well, I'm packing my stuff, ready for my trip back. I lost my jacket, so I've got to iron that as well. So I'll probably wear one of my other jackets I've got on the back of the chair. Um, or I might just go in my, since it's so early, I might just go in my gym stuff because uh, then I can sort of slouch and be lazy. Uh, I might take my backpack because that's one of the things I do do is I keep clothes here and I keep them in Spain. So I don't need to carry any baggage. Um, what I'm actually carrying in my bags Today for Spain is Lego. <laughs> Legos and most importantly, 
Beano's. I've got about ten editions of Beano's to take, including some of the the annual ones. Um, so Obi will be happy, and Zoe's be ha happy because she's got her Lego characters. So that's me in the good books with the kids, and yeah, just be happy. Have a great time. Enjoy your life.